Hi, I'm Lawson with Ampere EV, and I'm gonna walk you through our Atom Drive System graphical user interface, which I'm gonna call our GUI to keep it much shorter. I'm sitting in our 818 development vehicle here, and this has our 10 inch GUI, which can also be optioned in an eight inch screen to give you different options to fit into your vehicle. On the left hand side, our static panel that gives you your vehicle information, such as your speed, the critical one, such as your range and your odometer and your trip meter, and also an indication of whether you're in park, reverse, neutral, or drive. And that panel stays there at all times. So no matter what page you're on, you can see that information while you're driving the vehicle. We also have our media and navigation interface, which lets you set turn-by-turn -turn navigations by inputting a location, and it'll display it as you drive and give you voice feedback if you have speakers connected up. Similarly, your media information will show up right here in the bottom right panel if you have a song playing in the background. So here is our vehicle page, which shows you climate control, drive mode, cruise control, and your odometer settings. So drive mode lets you go through eco, normal, and sport. And climate control lets you turn on your features such as AC or heat if you have them equipped in your Atom drive system. You can also turn on cruise control, which gives you an easy way to set or cancel the cruise on the static panel. So it's still up at all times once it's enabled. You can turn on region braking and idle creep, which are some really good ways to tune how you want your vehicle to feel. Some people love the region braking where when you lift off the pedal, it slows down the vehicle significantly. Some people wanna drive without it and it's okay, you can have both. We also let you turn on idle creep. When you lift off the throttle pedal, creep along at a couple miles an hour, let's say you're in a drive through or stop and go traffic, it'll let you creep along at a low speed without having to put in any throttle input. You can also manage your trip and odometer settings. Next, I'm gonna show you the energy page. The energy page shows you your vehicle energy consumption here, which allows you to see how much energy you use as you drive along, which can vary between vehicle, drive driving style and operating conditions. Below, we show you your charging settings, which let you charge your vehicle to a certain percentage. And let's say you're paying for a public charger and you have to pay by the energy that you charge with. Maybe you will only wanna to charge to 80%. So you can turn this down and set the vehicle to charge to 80%. Or if you're going on a long drive, you can turn it all the way up to 100% to give you that maximum driving range. And we'll show you what your approximate driving range is for that full charge level that you set to. You can also change your charging rate to go between a level one, 110 volt or level two, 220 volt and see our information on charging or reach out to us if you have questions on which one you need to be using for your scenario. Up next is our monitoring page, which is your window into the operating parameters of the vehicle and the status of your battery and your motor systems. So you can see here at the top, you have your battery information, such as your battery temperature, your battery voltage, and your cell voltage at the cell level. We also show your motor temperature and your inverter temperatures on the right hand side. Finally, you can turn on data logging on and off. So this would let you take a quick data log, collect some information, send it or review it if you wanted to view that data. Coming at the end of this year, we're adding OBD2 support. If you're not familiar with OBD2, it gives you a quick, easy, and universal way into seeing any fault code stored on the vehicle. With that support, you're gonna be able on this screen to read and clear the error codes on the vehicle should they appear. One of my favorite features of our interface and something that we use every day is the ability to have CarPlay or Android Auto. You probably use this if you drive a newer vehicle and have an easy way to use your phone to power a navigation or media interface. So on here, you can go with your phone paired and open up the car link interface, which allows you to have your Android Auto or if you have an iPhone CarPlay interface up here on the screen. So here you can have your media and navigation available at the push of a button, just like you would on any other brand new vehicle. Our GUI is really feature packed and it brings that OEM level of fit, finish and polish to the system as you drive this car every day. If you have any more questions about the functionality or things that maybe I didn't cover, please drop a comment in the video below or reach out to us. We have some other really good informational videos about our Atom Drive system or just EV conversions in general. So please like and subscribe and we'd love to hear your feedback.